Angel Force with the 80 months. Oh my god. RPN Dragon. Because you know how like KH3 has the opening cinematic and it's uh, it has like an orchestral version of the uh, of like of Simple and Clean or something. Or not a Simple and Clean but Dearly Beloved or something. And then you have the uh, the intro which is like the Skrillex shit Face My Fears, right? So there's like a difference between the two, right? How old is your son? Uh, he is 16 months. He's 16 months. <coughs> oh man, that was quick too. That was a quick 16 months. Jesus Christ, I remember when we were counting the weeks. We were we were counting the weeks and we got to like four months and we're like, oh my God, he's so old. And now he's 16, we, 16 months and we're just like, yeah, dude, he just keeps getting bigger. I don't know. <laughs> Knocks back a swig. All right, um, we're playing Asora. I think we're playing Asora, right? I'm gonna be honest, face my fears over don't think twice. Well, you can have that opinion, I suppose. <laughs> I, I, you guys have to understand, I think that Face My Fears is, is just entirely ruined by the dubstep. Like, I, I, I think the entire concept of it being done by Skrillex is just, and I, and trust me, I've listened to it multiple times, and I've tried to like it, and it just doesn't work. It never, ever works. You know what, I think the strat is actually to go to Symphony of Sorcery first. Actually, hold on, no, no, no. We're, um... We're playing Asora, right? I think actually, we're probably Country of Musketeers is better. Strats around there. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. We tried. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Faster. Fine. Chat, is that good game design? Is a good game design to give you like a a big giant AOE attack and then immediately throw enemies at you to uh, to use it on? It's a good tutorial. Yeah, it's probably a good tutorial. Hey, Zero Graviga. Cool. It's time for good music. Where are you going? Stand back. Here goes nothing. Hey, Goofy. Keep it going. Keep up. Keep up the good music. Let's go. I'm ready. Yes. This is it. <laughs> this is it. All right, we're in there. Ow, no. Lay off. There we go. I forgot that these guys even had that attack. Truthfully. Wow. <laughs> God, what a whiff. Oh, man. Dream Drop Distance, the game that keeps on taking. Back 
I'm gonna take you out first because I think you're more dangerous. Yeah. Oh shit. Alright, I'm gonna do Meow Wounds. Let's do this shit. You know, I gotta say that I am using um, the Link system way more. Uh, that was actually really cool how he came to his aid. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I gotta say, uh, for, you know, I actually am using the Lynx way more now that I'm not using Balloon, which is neat, I guess. You learn more about the game, I suppose, like Kuma Panda's got a good one, but I'm not really, I don't know. I'm not really sure if that's necessarily a good thing. Yeah, Lynx, it seems like Lynx can give really good damage if you experiment. Is this praise? I mean, it's like you do use different shit. It's, truthfully, you do use different shit um, when you uh, when you don't use balloon. So that much is true. I don't think that I don't think I'm gonna refute that. But it's more like what am I trying to say here it's more it's more like the game isn't like immediately all good and happy all of a sudden does Luca get the blonde hair from his mom nope nope he gets it from me that's definitely from me yeah if you guys saw my baby pictures I came out blonde very blonde actually it was like <laughs> it was pretty insane I, I had very, very blonde hair as a kid. Blonde hair has to come from uh, both parents. I didn't know that blonde hair was a recessive trait. Hmm, okay. Hey, Aerial Slam. I kind of want that. I like it. Um, I don't like Blizzard Edge, so let's just get rid of that, I guess. I don't fucking know. Have you pet your Meow Wow yet? I was forced to at the start. If that answers your question. Are you finding more use for reality shift moves too, or no? I'm actually actively avoiding reality shift moves because I think they're dumb. see here. Zergavira, Confusion Block. What's this again? Oh yeah, Confusing Strike. Fucking whatever. I guess Zergavira is nice. I think at this point I can definitely like make some new shit. I just don't know what to make. Sarah Terror. All right, time to find out how to make stuff, if I can. Um, I can make a penguin. Cool. Still can't make you. Feels bad. Oh, dude, Pegasus. Look at this guy. Pegasus Slick. If BBS and Dream Drop had combo modifiers like KH2 alongside the command deck, do you think the combat would be good at that point? Assume no other changes to enemy or encounter design. Uh, guys, you have to understand that it's not just about combo modifiers. Well, okay, here, no, I'll, I'll try and say that in a way that's not nearly as aggressive or disagreeable. Uh, the answer is no. Um, no, I don't think that the combat would be good at that point. Because... You would still have the fundamental issue of your plane birth by sleep and uh, the way 
The way animations were just made in general and the way that the physics system works and the way that combos work in that game are just absolutely unsatisfying. It's just an unsatisfying system to work with. You don't feel powerful whatsoever. The only time you're, you feel powerful is when you're using an OP move. You'd have to change, you have to fundamentally change um, just how your character uh, interacts with combat and moves around the environment to make them feel like they're moving faster or just they're moving in a satisfying manner and you feel like you have control over your character. Uh, and then on top of that, you'd have to mess with the enemy design as well because that's also half of the equation at least. Man, I really can't make anything yet, huh? Everything is... Everything so far is like a... Oh, there it is. There's R&R &R seal. What am I missing? Yeah, I'm missing some stuff. I'm close, chat. I just don't... I don't have... I don't have it yet. Oh, hey! That's the, uh... This is the Fruits Cat. This can give me all my... My hastes if I wanted the hastes. It's the Fruits Cat. I guess we should make Fruits Cat, huh? Fruits Cat seems pretty good. I'm thinking about hopping into one of the rando tourneys recently announced. Got any advice? Have fun, dude. Just have fun. Have fun. Play rando the na the way you normally would play rando. Don't, you know, don't change anything. Just have fun with it. That would be my advice. Yeah, you don't have to you don't have to do anything special or different just because you're playing attorney. Chef Kairu. There's Sir Kairu jerks. Refuse to give Sir Kairu. Makes me angry. You would think that Sir Kairu wouldn't be difficult to make, but I guess that's not true. I'm like going through every single possible combination here. I wish, um, I wish I did the um, the Persona thing where it would show you what possibilities there are just in general uh, from the get go, instead of forcing you to go through every single combination of uh, of synthesis material to figure it out yourself. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make a I don't think we're going to make it. Don't you need the Sir Kairu recipe for it on like most stream eaters? No, I don't think so. No, you just need the um, you just need the materials for Sir Kairu. God, why can't we change this music? Why does this music have to play every single time? Why, God, why? <laughs> what did I do to you? I'm sorry. I I apologize. Oh, God. Um, let's see. Can I get Leaf Bracer yet? Or did I already get it? Hold on. Is Leaf Bracer something? No, no, no. Leaf Bracer is just an ability that I keep, right? I don't have to have the... I'm pretty sure I don't have to have the... The Dream Eater on to keep the... Like this, right? Like Leaf Bracer? Like, I can just... I'm pretty sure I can just keep this and I don't have to have him equipped anymore. Okay, cool. So I can just kick him now. I can kick Meow Wow. Which I know... It's probably going to upset you guys, some people. Oh. Yeah. Are we upset? I mean, I think so. I, mean, I think there probably are some people out there. Okay, so there is actually a shop where I can buy my materials. This I didn't know. 
Oh, I can even buy recipes, too, if I really, really desperately wanted to. I wasn't aware of this. I didn't really give a shit. Uh, I guess there's an R&R &R seal recipe, technically. I'm actually livid. See, there you go. What are your thoughts of most of the stat-based abilities being tied to Dream Eaters instead of being permanent? Oh yeah, no, that's probably one of the... It's, it's horrible. Are we talking about, like, hastes and shit like that? Oh, no, no, stat-based abilities. So you mean, like, the attack boosts, the defense boosts, the health boosts, shit like that? That's also awful, too. Like, I think, you know... Like, again, man, I can't believe I keep on... I'm saying really nice things about Birth by Sleep. This is one of the rare times that it happens, but... Chat, like, at least Birth by Sleep would give you the decency of when you fully leveled up your fucking, uh, your command that is attached to an ability, it would just give it to you. It's just like, you get to keep it forever now. At least it gave you that... <laughs> At least they gave you that that amount of decency. Which I, I, I really cannot say about this game. What's an easy... I'm trying to find a... I'm trying to find a fucking easy... Where's the... Where's the goddamn easy shit for, uh... For Sir Kairu? That's what I'm looking for. It all... I think it all runs through Noble Fancy. I think the issue here is I just need to buy more Noble Fancy. Right? BB, what do you think of Chain of Memories battle system? Um, I think it's a good idea. I think it's neat. A noble fancy's not that uh, not that expensive. Okay, it's like you know, two hundred money is whatever. So if I like bought four of these things. Uh, yeah, I thought, I, I think that, I think that Recom's kind of neat, honestly. Um, I don't know. I know that a lot of people probably didn't, weren't big fans of it, but... I liked it, so... <laughs> I thought it was okay, I don't know. Buy another noble fancy for this? Yeah, sure, why not? Block head on attacks with square to drop, to slow down the drop gauge. Oh god, you have to buy aerial recovery, don't you? Oh my god. Why is this game like this? Oh my god. Actually, I remember you had to buy Aerial Recovery in Birth by Sleep too. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. It doesn't even it doesn't even matter because Aerial Recovery isn't even that great of an ability anyway in these games. And they put Aerial Recovery on the wrong button. Like there's so many <laughs> There's so many things that are so bad. Ugh. Why is the drop gauge a thing? Because I don't know, dude. Legit, like, uh, straight up, my best guess. My best guess for why it's a thing is they wanted to create some sort of sense of urgency. And maybe it was like a mobile game thing to them. So they were like, oh, dude, if it's a mobile game, then like, you know they'll, you know, hit the drop button and then they'll drop to the other character and then they'll be like, cool, I can save my game now. Or some shit like that. That's all, that's it. That's all I can think of. All right, we're changing our party completely. Look at this shit, dude. Oh my God. The whole, the entire party swap. I can't believe this shit.
Hey, what's up, Sori? How you doing, man? All right, so let's check out the um, let's check out the ability link. Right, 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 right. Magic haste, this shit. Yeah, yeah. Dark screen's really good, actually. I'm gonna put this on. Dark screen's gonna be really good later on when we hit a lot of dark attacks. Strike raid's cool. Uh, that's like combo plus. No one cares. Um. Blitz actually seems kind of neat. Kind of. Attack haste, water boost. Oh yeah, so this game has water boost. Um, and it is by far the weirdest ability. Like, god, Dream Drop is so weird. Okay, so water boost. You would think that there are water spells in this game based off of witnessing the ability Water Boost, correct? You would assume that there are water spells. Guess what? There aren't. Water Boost does not boost Balloon. Balloon's element is actually not water at all. It's just a neutral element. It doesn't have an element at all. So why is it here? The only, the only explanation I can give is there there is a very specific dual link that Riku uses that has water based attacks and they and the water boost ability boosts those attacks it is I it's it genuinely it's like the dumbest shit ever It's it it is it's it really is just a huge giant waste, yes. Yeah, it's like the surfboard dual link, that's right. Man, the the game is so favorable on your guard. <laughs> Which is nice. Cause I don't wanna guard anything in this goddamn game. Oh shit, the T-Rexes, I forgot. Seeing T-Rexes in a zero gravity is the weirdest shit ever. So what's uh what's swing fling? Oh, is this the same shit as um Oh shit, this is the same shit, isn't it? Wow, Magic Lappin has uh Kuma Panda's fucking uh link. And, okay, yeah, there you go. That's just disgustingly good. Yeah. Balloon is not in water element spell. No, it's not. <laughs> trust trust me, chat. When I when I ran this game, I thought to myself, water boost clearly is going to boost the, the power of water, right? No. It does not. Balloon is literally just a neutral element spell. It does not have an element. It's not water. You would think it's water, right? That would make sense, but it's not. So what's water? Water is literally just the Dream Eater's attacks that have water built into it and some, some fucking uh, command style links that Riku uses. That's it. That that is literally the only reason that they exist. Water boost is the most pathetically useless ability in this game. Yeah, wave 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 surfer on Riku apparently. I probably boosts that. Yeah. 
Also, what's up, Andre? How you doing, man? Hey, look. It's one of my favorite themes. And it's going to be used for this dumb fight. Oh, you gotta like, what the heck? Okay. What the fuck? So guarding doesn't do anything. Oh, I had to be up front to actually. No way. So. Oh shit! What the fuck? Uh. What the? F Hold up! Hold up! Uh. Fucking stream labels. This is what we call good. This is gonna be a fight. Uh, wow, Deathstroke. <laughs> Thanks for the hundred dollars, dude. Oh my god. Holy <laughs> shit. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. What happened? Okay, so clearly blocking when he does physical attacks just doesn't work. So I guess we just need to tank through it. Like, I, I, I genuinely don't, I don't understand the idea here. Yeah, you, okay, so you just have to straight up hit him and he staggers, I guess. Okay. So we just do that. Yeah, you gotta like, you gotta like hit him to stop him from hitting the cart, I guess. Yeah, exactly. You, you would expect this guy to have super armor. And what do you even do against this dash attack? You can't stop him from hitting the cart. It's like impossible. He's gonna hit it no matter what. Like what the heck is the idea here? Yeah, like I blocked and I didn't even get a counter rush off of it. What the heck? No way. <laughs> what? I guess I have to use spells. What the fuck, dude? That doesn't make any sense. Like, why why is it when he dashes at me I can't just block and punish him? Like you would think that that's a basic thing, right? But I guess not. What? What the hell, dude? Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I guess we're gonna... We're gonna load up on these then. Yeah, I've never experienced this without Balloon, I don't think. Or, it, like, when I did experience it without Balloon, I don't think I even noticed what was going on. That's unbelievable. I think they designed this game specifically with Balloon in mind. I guess they didn't expect players to come in with a physical-only build? Or something? I don't know, dude.
this game is just bad? I mean, yeah, I think we all, I think, I think a lot of us <laughs> kind of, <laughs> oh man. But yeah, I guess you gotta... Yeah, we do this. Yeah, he's gonna do that. And then we'll just do some of this. Yeah, and, and spells just stop him right in his tracks immediately. That's amazing. Yep, it just it instantly stops him. Oh my god. They really didn't think at all about like using other shit. So then we gotta like, if he gets close, we just gotta tank the hit and just do this. Okay. New attack. Wow, that is, um... <sighs> oh my god. Oh, wow. Dinosaur. Dinosaur! <laughs> wow, you're so good! <laughs> Who the fuck are these guys? Oh, man. All right. Maybe jumping works? I didn't try jumping. Like, I'm still thinking about that fight, and I'm just... I'm kind of flabbergasted. I'm like... You guys really didn't think... You guys really didn't think that people were going to come in without any projectiles? Like, you just assumed that they were... <laughs> oh, man. I guess, man. I don't know. It's whatever. Just one of those things, I guess. So can I check my, uh, my fucking recipes and shit? Dinosaur! What do you need? Epic fantasy and intrepid fantasy. Cool. Dinosaur! If you had Strike Raid, you could have stopped him. Yeah, I guess that's true, too. I guess we can do this, huh? What? What happened? What? That wasn't at all like the 3DS version. Okay. What the fuck? Different panels give you different things. Is that how it was in the 3DS version? Because the way that I remember it is you fucking swipe according to like the arrows that they give and then you get through the comic panels and you beat shit up. Oh shit, Firaga. Whoa, dude. That's insane. Oh. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Is this the uh, this must be the the Ryu Dragon one, right? Oh no, I guess not. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. I got a success. What the fuck? That's a cool way. I'm gonna say it. That's a cool link. Ryu Dragon! Yay! He's my favorite. I'm going to heal up here. Combo assist! Woo! Do I just get desiccation again? Woo! Alright. That was a really quick charge. <laughs> Challenge failed, Pog! Oh, okay. Yeah, this is my, f what is it? This is my first playthrough on the PC version, so. Crit is, uh, you have to unlock crit first. Swing fling. Woo! Ah, oh, wrong way. Unfortunate. Wow, I have desiccation again. Like, look at. Man, Sir Kairu's link is a quick, quick charge. Holy shit. Yeah, I see the I see the drop gauge, don't worry. Yes. BB, you've been playing for ten minutes. It's time for the medicine. <laughs> God. Why is that true, dude? Why is why is why is consuming why is the drop gauge literally boiled down to forcing you to take medicine before you get to play the video game again? God. Or it's time to take a break or go to sleep. There's another thing in the game that kind of triggers that idea that you should take a break or go to sleep. Or you should save your progress. Sa <clears throat> save your progress for the night.
That's a giant balloon, and I got hit by it. That's unfortunate. <laughs> balloon run is over. Uh... Oh, I guess I got high enough to trigger that. fast. Yeah. <laughs> Them boys fast. Uh, I think if I just throw in a shit ton of zero gravities, I think these guys just get owned. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, do I watch slash read Attack on Titan? Yeah, I watched um, I watched the most recent season of Attack on Titan. I caught up with it last year, and then they announced the final season. Final season. <laughs> I'm gonna die. There we go. Yay, we did it. Sora, thank you. Do -do 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 it's nighttime now. Oh, this thing's here. Neat. I don't know what this is for. Oh, what's this actually? Hard lesson to learn that increased FPS won't always make a game better. You guys should um, what is it? Noodle. I don't know if you guys know who Noodle is. You probably don't. Uh, Noodle made a video. 
about, um, you know how, like, there was that trend of people, um, taking anime fights and just throwing them into this stupid AI generator that increases the frame rate? And by increasing the frame rate, I mean it very lazily and horribly, uh, created interpolation frames to make it look smoother. Yeah, the 60 FPS anime fights. And... Oh man, watching that video was just depressing. It was it was it was depressing to witness just how just to go back down memory lane and realize oh god that was shit that shit was so bad. <laughs> like who, who thought this was a good idea? Oh man. Like, really, who who thought this was a good idea? Like, I have to wonder. Oh, dude, Ragnarok. That's some pretty good damage, actually. <laughs> it's not actually Ragnarok, but, you know. Delta attack, isn't it? Yeah, something. It's more like that. Yeah, animators, animators have very, very specific tricks and techniques that they used for uh, for their frame rate. Uh, it's done that way on purpose. Chat, actually, I'm not sure if this will actually apply to you, but um, I'm not. I'm not sure if anybody gives a shit about fighting games, but if if you do, do you guys remember the dude? who uh, was crying that uh, motion inputs, like the uh, the fireball input and the dragon punch, or the Shoryuken input, were archaic and lazy, and they were stupid, and they should not be in any fighting game ever, and there's no reason for it. And in the next five years, they will be all phased out. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like that. But if you didn't, it, it, yeah, that that was a thing. There, that was definitely a thing. Someone, someone made a whole giant video talking about motion inputs and saying like, "There's no reason for these anymore. They're they they are archaic and stupid. No one would balance them this way, or no one would design them this day nowadays." It was, uh, it was something. Combo assist is so nice, I love it. Uh, but basically, um, what is it? Let me see. If, if anybody, what is it? Anybody plays fighting games for any length of time, uh, at scrub quotes, yeah. If anybody plays fighting games for any period of time, you'll instantly realize that there is a very specific reason why uh, attacks are designed that way, with sure you can inputs in mind or with um, with fireball inputs in mind. Like one, number one, it's like a balance thing, and it like it does. What is it? All you have to do is think about it for a little bit, and you're like, oh shit, that does make sense. Like, uh, what is it? 
the uh, the short you can input is um for the the old short you can input is forward down back down forward that's the short you can input it starts with a forward input chat it's yeah exactly it's a z input so think about that it's what is it it's also used to anti air enemies so think about that imagine someone is jumping at you right your first instinct is to like hold backward, hold down or hold, uh, what is it? Or hold back or hold down back or something to block an attack or block, block someone jumping at you. But in order to input a powerful anti-air attack, you actually have to hold forward or what is it? Press forward and perform a very specific action in time by the time they jump down and hit you. Imagine, yeah, like, ima imagine one button Sonic booms, imagine like one button supers, instantly the entire game changes. If you could throw out one button supers all day long, just on reaction, if it was that easy, then you would have to rethink your entire fighting game. Not to mention ideas like chart, what is it? Imagine 2H in Dragon Ball Gorilla. <laughs> uh, fucking... So, like, what is it? Like, the the most basic thing that I can think of is Guile versus Ryu, which is literally a matchup as old as time. Uh, Guile is a charge character, which means that you have to hold backward. What is it? You have, either have to hold down or hold back or down back for a full game second or something like that before you get to launch an attack. or uh, And then you hold forward and press a button and that unleashes your attack, right? So naturally, the idea with those characters is that they're very, very limited with their movement and they have to be going backwards or standing still in order to do a special attack. Which you think sucks, right? That Like, that's that's so shitty. Because Ryu can just do a quarter circle forward, quarter, quarter circle forward, and throw a fireball, right? Like, wouldn't that just be better? Why do, Why isn't just a quarter circle forward just better than Guile's stupid fucking hold back for a full second and then forward for a uh, sonic boom? Here's the secret. The reward for charging the attack or charging up a sonic boom is that the end lag is significantly shorter. Way, way shorter than a fireball. So, if you... What is it? If a if a Guile and a Ryu throw a fireball at the same exact time, the Guile always wins. And he'll be able to punish Ryu if he's right up against him. Or he'll get his turn first, basically. These what is it? It's not like it's not like some dude walked into the office one day and thought to themselves, Oh dude, let's just do like charge inputs and just did that and just made like characters super shitty. No, charge inputs are fucking designed on purpose with what is it there's intentionality behind those attacks I don't think the idea is keep literally everything else about the game the same while simplifying the inputs. Obviously, shit would have to change along with it. Okay, true, but there, what is it? Here's the thing. People have been playing fighting games for years and they don't have any issue. What is it? Uh, what is it? I'm trying to think of the word here. People have been playing fighting games with uh, with motion inputs for literal years, and one of the biggest things that they like, one of the biggest reasons why they like it, is that it feels like you're actually training. Like you're actually putting in time and effort and uh, sweat and tears in order to get good at these inputs and get good at these techniques. It's like you're actually like a martial artist, right? Like you don't walk into you know, your first day of Taekwondo or karate or something, and just, you can do an axe kick or something, right? Like, you gotta practice that shit. Like, that's something you have to hone over time. It's the same thing in a fighting game. 
It's a technique that you have to hone over time and get good at until you've mastered it. It's like, whoa, that's cool. Isn't that like on theme? Doesn't that like make sense? Yeah, exactly. Some fighting games have emotion inputs and some don't. There are definitely some that are like middle of the road that don't have mission, uh, motion inputs and they're designed differently because of that. A loaf of bread, thanks for the 37 months, man. I appreciate that. Here, come closer, boys. Come here. Come hither, my children. You know what? Fuck this shit. I don't want to play. I don't want to play the game anymore. I just want to do this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so good, right? So good. Oh my god. Oh, and that was the end of the room too. So now I have to do the whole room over again. That's another quirk about Dream Drop Distance is that the rooms are giant. So if you ever die, you have to do the room all over again. Did you just get punished for doing a limit? Yep, I did the limit. And then I had to land because I couldn't, like, do an air slide afterwards. You have to land because of all the end lag. And then I got frozen, and then I got fucking comboed. God, these guys are aggravating to fight. <laughs> it's so aggravating to fight these guys, dude. Holy shit. The get good option there was to completely avoid the confrontation by using balloon. That's the get good option. Call a game like Tekken a heavy input game? Um, I haven't really played Tekken, and I don't really know how it functions, so I can't really answer that honestly. I'm using Ragnarok. Fuck these guys. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Fuck this shit. <laughs> Fuck this shit in particular. Get out of here. God. Die. Oh, there's a chest over here. Cool. I can't believe I didn't fucking beat that. Like, some enemies just have such great attacks, like that fucking belly flop. 
That belly flop would be like negative infinity in any sort of like regular action, re regular ass video game. But for him, it's fucking plus infinity. You belly flop as Armika like that and it gets blocked, you're dead. <laughs> you eat shit. <laughs> uh, let's see. Is this deep freeze? Yeah, I don't give a shit about this. I think a good chunk of the top fighting games are not high co combo input. Games like Smash Ultimate and Tekken are not high input fighting games. I mean, it depends on the character. And Tekken, by far, has some very, very high-end, uh, what is it, difficult inputs that you have to... Have you ever done an... Okay, have you ever done an electric in Tekken? Because that's a, that's a whole different story than anything you will ever see in, in Smash Ultimate. Let's see, what's over here? <laughs> Water boost. Water screen, cure boost. Smash is most likely the most popular fighting game by a large margin. True, true, just, yeah, I would say it's it's I would definitely say that it has the most reach. That that's true. That's true. Oh, reload boost. Oh dude, I want that. Triple Plasma, Salvation, huh, neat. But yeah, Tekken, Tekken's got some high-end inputs. Electrics are really tough. Uh, Taunt Jet Upper. You guys should, uh, you guys should look up Taunt Jet Upper. <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty gross. Tall jet upper is grime. <laughs> it is. It's pretty grimy. Yeah, Korean backdashes definitely take some time for you to actually get used to it. I would I would equate to I would equate Korean backdashes to something like wave dashing. Although I feel like wave dashing isn't nearly as difficult as a a KBD. KBDs seem a little bit more difficult. Wave dashing and wave landing probably have more like situational uses because of the uh, the platforms. Uh, combo mods don't exist in this game. You get like combo pluses and that's it. Sparka, neat. 
All right, that's one half of the uh, of magnet <laughs> magnet explosion. That's some good shit right there. Let's go. Oh, I need to keep Ragnarok now that I think about it. Yeah, I gotta keep Ragnarok for later. This map sucks. Yeah, I agree. Pretty poorly lit and everything looks kind of the same. It's infinity. God. Love you guys. Time to die. Chat, I knew you. I knew you well. Help. Help. Here, I'm gonna square a circle raid. Fuck this shit. Yeah, eat shit. There we go. Alright, we're not dying yet. No! Oh no. No! No, Sparks, uh, Spark, Spark Run, Spark God do not have invulnerability. Definitely not. over here whoa okay hold on I don't remember this shit at all this is kind of cool exploration in in my dream drop distance sonic blade cool I'll take it seem seems pretty cool I'm just gonna go ahead and use one of these. That's a good attack, actually. 
I like the telegraph. Well, I'm not using Balloon, so that's probably a one reason why things are not going nearly as fast as they normally would. That's for sure. Oh shit, well, this is what I get for blowing that shit way too early. Yeah, this is the PC version. Blumo these guys? Yeah. I can't. <laughs> so these are special guys that you just can't flow mo. Neat. Why is this game like this, dude? God. Spare R! Woo! I now have the most broken thing in the video game. Got him. Ow. Wow. Okay, so I did a cure, or what is it? I did that, and he just did another counterattack right afterwards, and I couldn't guard it. I actually got punished for doing a block and counter guard successfully. I guess I'll put on slide roll. It's just kind of good, isn't it? Yeah. Which, is it even a slide? No, it's just... It's just dodge roll with particle effects on it. God, I... How do they do it, dude? How does, how does Osaka team do it? I truly wonder. Don't you feel cool now? God damn it. Mickey almost drowned. Why the Olympus theme? I... <laughs> I... <laughs> I... <laughs> Why do they play the Olympus theme in NKH3 when you're in San Francisco? I don't know, dude. They just do it. I honestly could not tell you why. Yeah, they do that. Ha. 
It happens during the part when they're like uh, fucking either training or putting together like their. I think it's when they're training. I think it's when the whole team is training. There's like this little training arc and they just put Olympus music over it. Zero gravity is like too important to not have on. Wow, I was gonna use Sonic Blade and then I just got destroyed. Tried to guard that, you get fucked. Zero gravity is just like the only way that you can actually get in like decent combos on these guys it feels. Like, decent enough crowd control to actually warrant fighting them like this. Because there's just projectiles everywhere on a lot of these guys if you don't do anything. Like, especially on these late game enemies, they, like, all of them have projectiles of some sort. Speak of the devil. And they start spawning a lot of these guys, too. So you just gotta... Roll with the punches, I guess. If I roll with the punches, I mean do this. Yeah, that's their version of Sonic Blade. Where's the last dude? What? <laughs> how? How? How, <laughs> how though? <laughs> what even happened? <laughs> Ten minutes, BB. Time to take your pills. Thanks, man. <laughs> Why, God? God, oh my God! How is this little dude actually? <laughs> Jesus Christ! So one of these is a fake, right? Yeah. Maybe both of them are a fake. Oh, okay, cool. Does this game have any animation canceling? No. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, you can Sonic Blade in midair, I guess. Neat. Scale of dicks to cage to go. <laughs> Spike, this game is mega dicks. Dream Job Rando would be mega dicks. You get to listen to all for one. <laughs> for a little bit, yeah, I guess you're right. Why is the tracking so bad? Spike, have you played this game yet? I feel like you've played this game. I feel like you had to have. You played it for PBL? How was it? Was it everything you wanted and more? Ugh. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, seems good. Free bangers and a bunch of shitty tracks. No. Don't let anybody try and gaslight you into thinking that this game has like... That this game is like top three soundtracks in all of Kingdom Hearts, because... Man. This game makes me just sad. A lot of the time. An ice cream cone! Woo! I think that there are good tracks in this game, but I don't think that it's overall a good soundtrack. I think there's a big difference. I figured the handheld games would be further along by this point. <sighs> yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. No, yeah, no, it, it, you're exactly right. Uh, Kine, uh, thank you for the prime, man. I appreciate that. No, you're, you're, you are a hundred percent Correct. They they went backwards when it came to this game. Yeah, you're not you're not off on that one. They they 100% went backwards. Sacred distance is fine. I mean, you know what? Okay, so like, here's here's how I see it. So like, imagine, imagine you get like thirteenth dilemma. Uh, you get like thirteenth dilemma, thirteenth struggle, and maybe vim and vigor, right? And then you get sacred moon from KH two. And I, I don't know, some other fucking theme. Uh, I'm trying to think of another cool thing. Like you, you uh, imagine you get like five cool themes, like a, a few good boss themes and a few good um, world themes. That's what the sound, but the rest of the soundtrack is shit. Like that, um, imagine that, imagine you get like, Three good world themes, three good boss themes, and just meh to just garbage for the rest of the entire soundtrack. That is the Dream Drop Distance soundtrack. That's the best way that I can describe it. It's got a few good things and then just other just like forgettable tracks or just completely garbage ones.
Is there not a game, chat? Has there not been a game at all for the stream the entire time? There hasn't. Okay. I don't know what the fuck happened, but it just took off. I don't know what the fuck Twitch has been doing recently, but they've been fucking up. And I... Okay, I saved it, and it still doesn't... Does... Does 2.8 not exist anymore? Is it updated yet? Holy shit, I... Okay, what if I... What if I put in 1.5, 2.5? Would it work? <laughs> no way. Hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold, hold the fuck up. Hold on. What is happening? Like, legitimately, it doesn't exist anymore. 2.8 literally does not exist. It was snapped. Thanos snapped it. What about, what about this? Dream Drop HD works for some strange reason. Yeah, 2.8 just doesn't exist anymore. I I don't know what happened. There's your clickbait YouTube title. Oh, yeah. Attacking on the way down. <laughs> this game. This game is truly a treat. Just. It's the game that just keeps on giving somehow. How do I whiff? What? Oh, I gotta do this. Thanks, Pete. I'm saving up my shit so that I, uh, I can use it all on Pete.
This feels like a fever dream. So who's gonna tell him? Can I block this? Oh, I can. Neat. All right. Uh, here. Can I? Can I try this? thing. I'm just gonna hang out over here. that dude God <laughs> Like what the what the actual fuck happened? Well, can I do it again? No, he's going to There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> this game, dude, it's it's funny. It <laughs> it's just Oh my god. Oh, by the way, the Olympus theme is back. It's just here. <laughs> they thought they thought that they should just put it here. <laughs> oh my god, it's funny. Like, truly just hilarious. Uh, hold on, um... All right, there we go. We're saving the best for last chat. Oh, you hit these things. Oops. I didn't wear my gamer pants today. You can't fucking see yeah. shit. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Back off.
All right, cool. Is this Melody Catcher? Let's see if I remember how to do that shit. Bit rates back to normal. Yeah, it's probably the drops fault. This world has good music, but it's kind of cheating. I mean, if it's good music, it's good music, right? Doesn't really matter how you get it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Speaking of good music. Let's see, we're not level 30 yet, are we? No. Fruits Cat! I'd like my hastes, please. Uh, this thing. Yeah, here we go. Marshmallow clouds. Oh yeah, I forgot your hit sounds are also uh, fucking changed. That's really cool. They really went all out for this world. It's crazy. They had good source material and they kind of capitalized on it for once. Because usually when they have good source material like Hunchback of Notre Dame, they fuck it up terribly. But this time around, they actually did it really good. Yeah, get fucked, stupid penguin piece of shit. I'm gonna die. Oh, I got healed, thanks. I'm gonna do this. Oh, he just continues to do that forever until you get hit by it. Cool. Oh, status effects, ugh. Why, God, why? Uh, I kind of want to heal, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, there's so many status effects. Holy shit. Endgame enemies are such pieces of shit. Like, just genuinely not fun to fight. <laughs> no, but seriously, don't use Balloon. It's more fun. Oh yeah, you can just do this, but the game won't let you go over here. Unfortunate. <clears throat> I played my SMT in Personas. I'm used to status effects. Yeah, I mean, sure. I think it's kind of a it's a different story when you're playing a game like this as opposed to SMT.
Oh, and then all of a sudden the, the barrier is gone. Okay, I see. Here we go. Oh man, I can feel it already. I can feel it in my bones. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Oh yeah, that works. So these guys get stunned, kind of. <laughs> it's hard to hard to say. Yeah, Sonic Blade is just kind of. You shit. You you seriously cannot see anything when it's going on. You just you press the button and you just kind of hope for the best. This is on PC, yeah. Piece of shit. You deserve zero sympathy from me. Get out of here. You know, usually I like penguins. I think they're pretty cool. These guys are pieces like absolute fuckers. Get them out. Why does that work? Do you prefer birth by sleep or dream job combat? God, do I have to pick? Do I have to like choose one like to be better than the other? <laughs> Are those my only options? They're both effectively the same. I mean, they're different. They're different enough games. Ooh, wow, I actually didn't know you could do that. Cool, oh my god, paint gun. Woo! <laughs> okay, the elixir's kind of cool. I can just do this too, cool. You really can just flow mode to any place that you want to. But I'm pretty sure the game is like, well, what we intended for you to do was do this little rhythm game. We, we wanted you to do is the, and then you can travel between them. Got him. Boink. I did a ground finisher in midair. Actually, oh, okay, I thought that, all right, never mind.
I guess I have glide, yeah. La 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 dun do 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 Yeah, fuck that shit. Oh, they're all gone. Cool. To think you spent my 65 month anniversary playing. <laughs> ah, <laughs> sorry about that. Ow, I'm getting hit a lot. Um, is there where I guess my win button isn't ready yet? So I'll just have to do this instead. Which is pretty close. Chest up here? I don't think so. Dude. There's a part of me that just kind of wants to skip all this shit and just kind of go straight to the end, but I also have this fear of being underleveled that I don't really want to deal with. Oh, good. BB, aren't you having fun? <laughs> sure, yeah. Ow. Oh, this shit. Uh oh. Here for sure right now. I'm just gonna press this button. Uh cool. We're not fighting anything anymore. <laughs> we're we're not we're not fighting anything anymore, chat. We're getting out of here.
Yeah, yeah, if you die, well, the rooms are gigantic, so if you die, you just gotta restart the whole room. That's how it works. Why do people say it's fun if you don't use balloon again? Don't know. No, 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 no. I'm playing it right now because somebody got me to... What is it? People got me to 900 subs. Oh, I don't even know what I was looking at. Yeah, it was a, it was a little sub goal that I threw together. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna stay underleveled. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're gonna stay underleveled. We're gonna stay under leveled and we're gonna die forever, you know. All right, under leveled for Spellkin. Ah, yeah, it's gonna be great. Ugh. All right, uh, so what's the plan here? Does zero gravity? Yeah, zero gravity actually works on him, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's just do this. Load up some cures. Seems good. You got double air slide? Wait, did I? Does that classify as double air slide? I don't think it does. Well, let me, I think, is there some shit out here? I think there's probably some shit out here that I can pick up if I want to. can't move. I have bind on. I got bound. Oh, wow. I'll take the strength and defense, I guess.
I'm using this thing. Yeah, fuck you guys. All right, cool. Uh, let's see. Let's save the game. Um It's uh yeah, it's this one. There we go. Toucan Sam. Oh, I don't even remember how this goes, actually. Can I not dash? I thought you could dash after a jump. I didn't hit him. That sucks. Yay! Oh, my health is low. I should fix that. There we go. All better. You know, I thought I could guard that shit. It just wasn't working for whatever reason. There we go. Right, the shit, and then he just disappears, right? Ow. There we go. Yay. That wasn't too bad. <clears throat> ah. 
Counterpoint. Do we A rank all the dives? We have to do them as uh, as Riku as well. Now that the Disney worlds are done, the wor the story can finally start. Not even because <laughs> we're not done with the Disney worlds. All right. Um. I think the strat here is to um, I think the strat here is to um, we're going to do, um, what's it called first? Yeah, we're going to do Symphony of Sorcery first. Because there isn't actually, like, a boss, technically. We're one. Actually, that's right. We have to. We have to do the the dive for um. Stupid. A flood? The world that never was Strange. anyway. It's coming from upstairs. Dude, I. My boy David, I f I feel so bad for him. Like truly, truly, I feel bad for him. Like, the dude feels like he's so totally checked out of Kingdom Hearts in general. <laughs> when he phoned in those lines in KH3, like, it's like, I can hardly even blame the dude.
I don't think there's a lack of, lack of effort from him, but the dude just feels like he just, you know. I don't know. <laughs> I think he's just tired of just being like normal ass Riku sometimes. Oh yeah, I wonder what um Oh Blade Charge. Oh Wade's Wave Surfer. Oh yeah, Wave Surfer because of uh Sir Kairu. We should try that. See how that works out. Unfortunate. Slowly but surely, these guys' the health is just depleting. Jesus. Remember how you had 20 seconds to do this? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, the voice direction in general definitely feels kind of, um, it just kind of makes me sad a lot of the time when I think about it more. Jeez, level 16, my god. I'll never understand why Aqua sounds the way that she does. It's it's just got to be a voice direction thing, dude. That's my that's my guess. It's my educated guess. It's just got it's got to be a voice direction sort of thing. It's been that way since Birth by Sleep. Because clearly these are very, very talented voice actors. You know, the only the only one who sounds kind
kind of like himself. And even then, he doesn't sound exactly like himself. But that's more just because time has passed. The only dude who sounds like himself is fucking Jesse McCartney, dude. Craziest shit ever. Roxas still stays goaded, dude. Forever and ever. Alright, chat. Let's see. Let's see this shit. It's time to... I can't believe it's one. That's un that's unbelievable. Oh, Spark goes Sora only. Check that out. Huh. Well then. I guess we use Thunder then? <laughs> Prism Windmill? Something like that? Zero Graviza is very, very interesting. Uh, yeah, I heard about that, Aburn. I did. Oh boy, am I gonna die here? Oh, the enemies are down there. Okay. Well, I'll just stay up here then. It's like Diet Magnega. That's the way that I like to think about it. Zero Graviza is like Diet Magnega. So you can do that, chat. So that is... <laughs> that's like the only example of... One of the very few, if only, examples of uh, animation cancelling in this game. So normally, you can't move at all during Zero Graviza, but you can cancel it with a... a um, what is it? You can cancel it with a link. You can also cancel it with certain other things. Like I said, it's Diet Magnet. Which isn't a bad thing, I suppose. Because there's not really, there's not much else that you have in, access to in this game. You may as, well, I may as well have access to something.
You can't combo into links, I'm pretty sure. I don't think that's how that works. Oh, hey, he's here. What's up, dude? Where was this guy? That's a lot of frogs. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Don't kill my friends, please. I hate you so much. Whoever just did that. Fuck it, I'm doing this. Oh, that hurts. Owie. <laughs> Just infinite amount of frogs. That works. I think you keep the experience from that too, so it's not like a total loss. I'm just doing this honestly for the experience a lot of the time. I'm pretty sure I'm underleveled at this point. <laughs> I think I was supposed to be fighting a lot more guys. But I didn't really want to play the game, so. What can you do? What's up, Dewey? How you doing, man? <sighs> when you beat him, I assume you get his recipe. Something like that. Milton Like Awesome. Thanks for the three months, man. I appreciate that. Najima, thanks for the uh, Prime Gaming, man. I appreciate that.
I can't hit him. <laughs> I figure Fire Windmill wouldn't be very strong against this guy. Ow. Owie. Is this the, uh... Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Only good thing about this game is that you can Roman cancel. Well, you can Roman cancel in Cage too, like all the time. <laughs> uh, Roman cancel is a blanket term for just the ability to um, cancel. What is it? Certain animations to make them safe at will. So, like right here. So, like, what is it? Uh, what was I doing? I wish. What is it? To and the end, what is it? To cancel the end lag of uh, Zero Gravisa, you just cast it and then do that. And then you get to move around. It cancels the end lag of this just by the activation of that thing. Uh, you do it all the time in KH2 when you activate a, um, what is it? You do it all the time in KH2 when you activate a drive, uh, when you activate a limit. Actually, it's really more, it's mostly just using a drive. Drive when you use, uh, when you use Trinity. Yeah. Use it all the time there. It's pretty dope. Pretty dope. Uh. Is KH3 is the king of Roman cancels? Eh. Fucking air step is its own thing. All right, uh, I guess I should take this. I think I'm gonna stop here too, it's uh, it's midnight. Good time to stop, I think. Roman cancel with no cost, yeah. <laughs> Man, level 16 to level 20 just like that, that's pretty cool. Have you thought of doing character analysis vids for your next KH Talks? I haven't thought about character analysis videos. Oh yeah, Sham, thank congratulations on partner, man. Good shit. Good shit, my dude. Yeah, Sham's got the, uh, the check mark, dude. Uh, all right. Time to get out of here. Uh, we, I think, what is it? We started this at like around 9.30, so we could probably, um, I think tomorrow, if we start at like nine o'clock or maybe a little bit earlier, we should be able to beat the game. I don't think there's any reason to think that we can't beat the game uh, tomorrow. Hopefully. <laughs> no guarantee. Uh, maybe I'll, maybe I need to go find the guys to give me once more in second chance and then and then I can beat the game. Who knows? But I'll be happy to not have to play this game anymore. It'll be great. Uh, all right. I'm going to get out of here. I'm not sure if there's anybody that I can raid in particular. I have so many viewers. I have 484 viewers watching me play Dream Drops. <laughs> you guys are great. You guys are ridiculous. Um, Let's see here. Zetris is streaming. He's doing Kingdom Hearts Expert JJ 100%. That's the perfect stream. That's it right there. I'm going to send you guys to Zetris.
It's cathartic. Man, I don't know. Hey. I'm glad you guys like it. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I will, uh, I'll see you guys later. so damn much that you can get more move around mode really easy. Yeah. Oh. I'm not wasting an hours on this. 